Solutions are common in nature and they represent an abundant form of matter. The term solution is an alternative way of saying homogeneous mixture. Solutions are made up of two components which we call the solute and the solvent. The solute is a component of the solution that is present in a lesser amount relative to that of the solvent, while the solvent is the component of the solution that is present in greatest amount. It is more like a medium in which the other substances are being dissolved. Because solutions are mixtures, they have a variable composition, and one way to specify its composition is by specifying solute concentrations. So what is concentration? It is simply defined as the amount of solute present in a specified amount of solution. So here, we will be discussing two methods to specify solute concentration, which are percent concentrations and molarity. Percent concentration may be indicated in three different ways. Percent by mass or mass-mass percent, percent by volume or volume-volume percent, and mass-volume percent. First, we will be discussing percent by mass or mass mass percent. It is the percentage unit most often used in chemical laboratories. It is the mass of solute in a solution divided by the total mass of solution multiplied by 100. It is represented by the following formula. The solute and solution masses must be measured in the same unit, which is usually grams. The mass of the solution is equal to the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent. And now that we have defined and set up the formula for percent by mass, let us apply it by solving the following problem. What is the percent by mass concentration of glucose in a solution made by dissolving 5.5 grams of glucose in 78.2 grams of water? To solve this, first, we must write down our formula. And then go back to the problem and identify the given. So we have 5.5 grams of glucose and 78.2 grams of water. So now we have identified which is our solute and which is our solvent. And don't forget that in order to get the total mass of our solution, we need to add the masses of our solute and our solvent. Afterwards, we are going to substitute our given to our formula or equation, and we will have the following. Okay, so now we can calculate using our calculators. Usually, for scientific calculator, you can do this in one go. You can just plug in all your data into an equation and press equal. So for this, our final answer is 6.6% by mass glucose. And if you will notice, we have two significant figures for our final answer. The second type of percentage unit is percent by volume or volume volume percent, which is abbreviated as percent V over V. This is used as a concentration unit in situations where the solute and solvent are both liquids or both gases, and this is represented by the following equation. Solute and solution volumes must always be expressed in the same units when you use percent by volume. So for this, we are going to use ml for our solute and ml also for our solution. Let us try to solve the following problem using percent by volume. What is the percent by volume concentration of ethanol in a solution made by dissolving 6.8 ml of ethanol in 113 ml of water? Again, let us start first by writing our formula or equation for percent volume. Now that we have our formula or equation, let us identify again our given. So we have 6.8 ml of ethanol and 113 ml of water. We now have identified our solute and our solvent. And then we substitute our given to our equation. And for our final answer, we have 5.7% ethanol. 
The third type of percentage unit in common use is mass volume percent. It is abbreviated as percent M over V. This unit, which is often encountered in clinical and hospital settings, so you will be encountering this in the future, is particularly convenient to use when you work with a solid solute which is easily weighed and a liquid solvent. And it is represented by the following formula with grams for the mass of solute and ml for the volume of the solution. Let's now use it to solve the following problem. What is the mass volume percent concentration of sodium chloride in a solution made by dissolving 11.7 grams of sodium chloride in 88.2 ml of water? We will be doing the same steps as in the previous problems. So first, we are going to set up our formula and then identify the given and substitute it into the equation. So after calculating, our final answer is 13.3% mass per volume of sodium chloride solution. Let us have another example. How many grams of sucrose must be added to 375 grams of water to prepare a 2.75% by mass solution of sucrose? Here, we have identified our solvent and our solution concentration. So usually, when a solution concentration is given as part of a problem statement, the concentration information is used in the form of a conversion factor when the problem is solved. So that will be the case in this problem. The given quantity is 375 grams of water and the desired quantity is grams of sucrose, which is our solute. The conversion factor, which will relate these two quantities, our solvent and our solute, will be obtained from the given concentration, which is 2.75% by mass sucrose solution. So that means there are 2.75 grams of sucrose for every 97.25 grams of water. The relationship between grams of solute and grams of solvent gives us the following needed conversion factor. Now that we have our conversion factor, we can now use dimensional analysis to solve for this problem. And then cancel like terms. And after calculating, our final answer is 10.6 grams of sucrose is needed to prepare a 2.75% by mass solution of sucrose. Our next method for specifying solute concentration is by molarity. Molarity can be defined as the moles of solute in a solution divided by the liters of solution. The mathematical equation for molarity is the following. Let us now apply this formula to the following problem. Determine the molarity of the following solution. 4.35 moles of potassium permanganate are dissolved in enough water to give 750 ml of solution. In this problem, we are given the number of moles of solute, which is 4.35 moles, and the volume of solution, which is 750 ml. Now we write down our formula or equation for molarity, and then we substitute the given into our equation. So we have 4.35 moles as our moles of solute and 750 ml as the volume of our solution. Since 750 ml is not yet in liters, we need to convert it first into our desired unit. So the concentration of this solution in molarity is 5.8 mol per liter or 5.8 molars potassium per manganate. Now how about instead of calculating for the solution concentration, the amount of solute is the one that is not known. Let us try to answer this problem. How many grams of sucrose are present in 185 ml of a 2.50 molars sucrose solution? The given quantity is 185 ml of the solution and the desired quantity is the grams of sucrose. For this problem, let us first make an outline or a pathway that we can use to solve this problem. So we start with our given, which is the ml of solution, 
convert that into the volume of solution and from there we can calculate for the moles of sucrose and then the amount of now we can set up our dimensional analysis And then for this one, we are going to use the concentration as our conversion factor. After this, we are going to use the molar mass of sucrose as our final conversion factor. Calculating for the molar mass of sucrose, we will be getting 342.3 grams per mole. Now that we have completed setting up our dimensional analysis, we can now cancel out like terms and we will be left with grams as our final unit. And for our final answer, we have 158 grams of sucrose that is present in 185 ml of 2.50 molar sucrose solution. And now for our final topic, we have dilution. A common activity encountered when working with solutions is that of diluting a solution of known concentration, which we usually call a stock solution, to a lower concentration. So we can define dilution as the process in which more solvent is added to a solution in order to lower its concentration. For calculation problems involving dilution, we will be using the following formula. Cs times Vs is equals to Cd times Vd. Okay, so let's try to apply this formula into a calculation problem. A nurse wants to prepare a 1% mass per volume silver nitrate solution from 24 ml of a 3% mass per volume stock solution of silver nitrate. How much water should be added to the 24 ml of stock solution? First, let us identify what are the givens. So we have 3% as a concentration of our stock solution, 24 ml as its volume, 1% as a concentration of our diluted solution, and our unknown is the volume of our diluted solution. In order to solve for this, we just need to make some modifications in our original equation, and now we will be having this new formula. The volume of our diluted solution is equals to C sub S times Vs over Cd. And now we can substitute our given to solve for the volume of our diluted solution. So the volume of our diluted solution is 72 ml. So now we can calculate for the amount of solvent that is needed to be added. So we have the following formula, V sub D minus V sub S, which is equals to 72 ml, which is the volume of our diluted sample or diluted solution, minus 24 ml, and we will get 48 ml as our final answer.